Hey everyone, today we are going to do a six cup flip with a 14 by 18 canvas. And we're going to be using all turquoises. So this is just here for um, focus. It's a mirror. I use it to check the backs of my canvas when I'm doing a big piece. I want to make sure that side's covered. So we're going to start with some white. This is Creative Inspirations Titanium White. Uh, Creative Inspirations Lucas and Soho are all from Jerry's Artorama. Okay, so I'm going to go right in with the phthalo blue-green from Soho. Not layering, I'm just shoving it in. Deco Art Ocean or Deco Art Sea Breeze. This is a color I'm trying to use up, so hopefully we'll get that used up on this pour. Yep. Yay. <laughs> I'll let that sit for a second. You guys know how much I love using up paint. Okay, so let's take some Peacock Pearl and hit that with that. This is from Deco Art. It's a metallic, well, pearl. Okay, then we're going to go with the Dalarani Phalo Turquoise. It's another darker color. And then I'm going to come in with um, Craft Smart Native Turquoise. This is a metallic. And we'll follow that with Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue Hue. I do need a little, well, I'm going to save that for last. Okay, Lucas Turquoise. Pushing it right down in and kind of stirring up that cup. And Craft Smart Ocean Breeze. It's another craft paint that we're going to be deleting from the wall of paint. And then I'll take the white, give it a shot right down the middle. So we don't want it too dark and we don't want too much turquoise. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and flip those. Doesn't matter if you get messy. Loving already. Let's just hope the rest of it behaves. <laughs> um, since the cups are sprayed, the color's already down, so we're going to go ahead and start flipping those. Lots of turquoise. Maybe not enough white. <laughs> it's definitely beachy. All right, let's mix them up. I'm going to go ahead and bring it right down. I'm going to let them flow right over because I have a lot of paint here. So what I'm working on right now is making some paintings that are just color to play with with my Cricut. So I want to um, have some neutral backgrounds that aren't too busy. So I figured it'll probably be another month before I take it out of the box. <laughs> You guys have been watching me, you know I got it back in, what was it, 
July, August. Still in the box. I have been buying vinyl, though. I just haven't done anything with it. So, let's go ahead and torch that and see what happens. you got to remember, it's kind of all blended right now, but as it dries, these darker colors are really going to take over. some more cells. Not that I need more, <laughs> but I'm hoping some of the dark colors may pop up through. But that's okay. We don't have to have them. going on there and that one cell right there is going to probably be a pain in the butt but that's all right we'll take what we get so here's your close-up and I'll probably show that on a Monday Night Live for those that request to see um, I haven't been very good about putting dried paintings up on my art page because I haven't even varnished them yet. <laughs> Usually when you see them is when they hit the Etsy shop or they go to auction. So um, we make sure that everything is varnished and ready to go. But also I get people that say dibs and they want it and I don't even get to show it because it's cured and varnished and out the door as soon as they say they want it. So... Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the links below for all your paint pouring supplies and my Etsy shop. Uh, join our Facebook group, The Parage Posse. And also check out my art page on Facebook, Christina Welch Art. And um, check out the links below for sponsoring the channel and also purchasing merchandise. So we will see you all on the next one. Bye now.